हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आई प्रे फॉर यू ऑल गॉड गिव यू अ लॉन्ग लाइफ एंड यू लिव ऑलवेज हैप्पीली देयर प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड फॉर स्पोर्टिंग मी सो लेट स्टार्ट आउट इन्फॉर्मेशन दीज आर सम अपडेट्स ऑन द रात बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई हैव टू टेल यू समथिंग Go to google.com and search janaropinions.com and open this site. Here you can see the latest news, Dinar opinions, and Dinar guru updates on a single page. So visit this site for more information. How are they going to attract foreign investment? They're going to open their borders with an international currency and they're going to rock and roll. The signs are everywhere. Al Sadani recently said he was going to make a change to the dinar to 1.32 dinars to the dollar which is about 76 cents but that doesn't include adding the real effective exchange rate you've got the prime minister of Iraq already having a discussion with president Trump you've got the prime minister of Iraq already having a discussion with former president Bush It's interesting now we have the foreign minister in DC. He's talking with the United States Treasury. No one talks to anybody at the White House until April the 15th because they're not going there to hand them the exchange rate. They want to use, they're going there to activate it and tell them that's it. Question, doesn't executive order 13303 allow the private american citizen to invest in the country of iraq through its currency from what i know the ex order statement was to allow us americans to be able to benefit in the restructuring of iraq due to the sacrifice made to liberate them that was inclusive of buying the dinar back in 2014 some tried to exclude us but that was left uncontested and here we are comment Sadani is supposed to be in the US on April 15th. Personally, I think Sadani may be here for a victory lap. After we have already started doing out exchange. The deputy governor of the Central Bank of Iraq confirmed that external commercial transfers through the official SWIFT system have increased significantly, jumping from 50 million dollars per day to 200 million dollars now. Deputy Governor of the Central Bank, Amar Khalaf, said that transactions via the Central Bank's electronic platform Dash, which ensures compliance with the SWIFT system, have witnessed a significant increase, and many foreign trade transactions are now conducted through the platform. According to Agence France Presse, 